I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice test question on angle relationships. The question here is, find the measure of each numbered angle and name the theorem that justify your work. It is important to justify your work even if the second statement is not included. You should understand that. It's a part of geometry. Every statement should be qualified by a reason, right? And normally that would be a postulate or a theorem. Now in this particular example, we are given two lines which are intersecting at 90 degrees, so that's 90 degrees. The other line crosses at 55 degrees, we need to find angle 1, 2 and 3. So as you can see, angle 2 and 55 degrees is vertically opposite angles, they should be equal. So we have angle 2 is equals to 55 degrees and the reason for this is vertical angles theorem. You can also write this in short form, that is, vertical angles are congruent. And therefore, their measurement is same, right? So we found angle 2 from the given angle 53. Now, angle 1 and 3 are equal. They are vertical angles also. Either one of them can be found using linear pair or supplementary angles, right? So we can say angle 1 plus 55 degrees should be equal to 180 degrees. The reason is that is supplementary theorem, right? Or supplement theorem. They form a linear pair. Since they form a linear pair, their sum should be 180 degrees and that is supplement theorem. Now from here we can find the measurement of angle 1. So we can say measurement of angle 1 is equal to, we can take away 55 from both sides. So we 1 plus 55 minus 55 equals to 180 minus 55. So that's the subtraction property. And that gives you angle 1 is equal to 5 take away 10 I mean 10 take away 5 is 5 and then 7 take away 5 is 2 125 degrees and that is what we can substitute after simplification so we get angle 1 equals to 125 degrees now we to find angle 3 we say angle 3 is equals to angle 1 since they are vertical angles, right? Vertical angles are congruent. And therefore, we have angle 3 is equal to 55 degree, right? So angle 3 is equal to 55. We substitute the value of 1. So that is how you can find all the angles. But it's kind of important to write the reasons for each. Right? So that is the part of geometry which you should be careful about. Not mentioning these reasons may affect your marks. I hope you understand. Thank you and all the best.